What's up, Chiefs Kingdom? It is mailbag time here on the Kansas City Chiefs Report. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. And on today's show, we are going to answer all of your questions. So use hashtag Chiefs or Super Chat, and we'll get to as many as we possibly can. Go to Brian Gales. Who would you put on the Chiefs Mount Rushmore for defense? Um, like all time? I mean, Derek Thomas leads the way, right? Um, you know, Derek Johnson's up there. He was a glue guy, Justin Houston, glue guy. You know, I'm not going to pull names from like the sixties and seventies or anything like that. You know, I think a guy like Chris Jones could make his way there. Like say he plays his whole career with the chiefs or most of it and racks up over a hundred sacks. I think he's a guy who could get there. Oh, Eric Berry is in that convo. Had he never had injuries? I mean, he was one of the best safeties, if not the best in the game for a period of time. So those are some names uh, that I would, uh, that I would throw in there. Jason Tyler, what is our Achilles heel come January, if any? The last couple of weeks, it hasn't been an issue, but at times this year, the Chiefs have run into a problem. We saw it in the Tennessee game where they literally cannot, they can't get any yards on the ground, where they hand it off and it's one yard or less, losing yards. I, I still think even with Mahomes, at times when like, hey, we need to get two yards. Can we hand the belt ball off and get two yards? Now, yeah, like I'm comfortable putting the ball in Mahomes' hands in those situations, but you can't throw the ball 70 times a game. Like you have to have some semblance of balance. So if there's anything where I'm like, oh, that could be a problem, I would say that. Defensively, you know, these young corners have played well, but, our, you know, our two, three rookie corner is going to hold up, uh, you know, against Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, you know, Stephon Diggs, guys of that caliber. I think those are a couple areas that I would monitor. Kelly Uppos, best division, worst division. You know what's funny? We were talking about this in the chat sports office that coming into this year, the entire AFC West could make the playoffs. Well, maybe only one team, the Chiefs, end up making it. Uh, now, the AFC West isn't the worst division, but – I would say the worst division this year is the NFC South. Um, in the AFC, it's probably the AFC South. And the uh, the best divisions are probably the NFC East, weirdly enough, and the AFC East. AFC East is all six and four or better. So uh, the East divisions in the, are the best. South divisions are the worst. It's kind of easy this year. Silly Steve, if Odell Beckham doesn't pick the Chiefs, who do you want him to choose? So, yeah, I've thought about this too. Like, if the Chiefs don't get him, and look, like, there's a better chance they don't get him than they do if the reports of five teams being in the mix is accurate. These five teams right here, the Dallas Cowboys, the New York Giants, the Buffalo Bills, the San Francisco 49ers, and the Kansas City Chiefs, if that is accurate, um, if uh, he doesn't pick the Chiefs, just don't go to Buffalo. Any of the other ones are fine with me. NFC opponent, at worst, you'd have to face him in the Super Bowl. Uh, honestly, if I had to pick, I'd pick the Giants because I don't think the Giants, even with Beckham, have any chance of making the Super Bowl. Uh, I think the Niners or Cowboys, if you know, if things bounce their way, they could represent the NFC. Uh, I don't think the Giants are there yet. Uh, but uh, I still want the Chiefs to get them. But if they don't, just keep them away from Buffalo. Keep them away from Buffalo. Prediction time. Which team will sign Odell Beckham Jr.? What do you guys think? Who will end up signing OBJ? My gut think my gut says Dallas. He seems like he wants that spotlight, but uh, I'd love to have him here in Kansas City. Dale Webb Jr., what position do the Chiefs need to improve in the offseason? Well, wide receiver is a position to watch, not because it's weak, but just because you have free agents. Juju, Hardman, uh, or a couple. Uh, Justin Watson for a free agent. So, uh, you'll obviously have to, you know, address that spot. And if you let those guys walk, you're going to need at least one receiver. Um, I think uh, edge rusher is a spot to keep an eye on for sure. Frank Clark uh, could be, you know, on the chopping block again. His contract is cuttable. So we'll see. Uh, edge rusher uh, is, is is for sure a position that I would, I would heavily monitor. From RJ, any updates on the injuries uh, for McCole Hardman, Juju, and Kadarius Toney? Juju, as we're filming this, and depending on when this goes out later in the week, uh, this answer could be different, but uh, he's been dealing with a concussion issue. Uh, McCole Hardman, he's on IR, so he's going to miss at least three more games. And then Kadarius Toney, kind of in that day-to-day -day category right now with the hamstring injury. From Wally, what about Marcus Davenport next season, free agent or Barkley? Um, Saquon, I assume who's you're talking about there, but Davenport free agent edge rusher. If the contract is reasonable, I would bring him in. Maybe he gets a juju type of deal, like a one year, 10 million prove it year. Uh, cause he was great last year has not been very good this year. Uh, maybe you could get him on one of those. And then Saquon, 
It'd be fun. I can't lie. But if Pacheco keeps emerging, you don't need to go overpay for Saquon. Some team's going to throw him $10, $12 million per year, and it might just end up being the Giants. Established Titles is sponsoring today's show here on the Chiefs Report. And let me tell you guys a little bit about them, as you can become a lord or a lady today. Established Titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland, which you can see on your screen right now, uh, while hope helping global reforestation efforts. This project is based on a historic Scottish customs, where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. Title packs give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland, and an official certificate with a crest. We plant a tree with every order and work with global charities like One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future to support those global reforestation efforts. You could officially include the title of Lord or Lady on your credit card, your plane tickets, your dating profiles, etc. It makes for a great last-minute gift. The first 200 people purchasing a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot just within a few minutes of walking distance depending on how many of you want to become a lord or a lady we can build our own chiefs report kingdom it makes for a great last minute gift established titles is actually running a massive holiday sale with deals up to 80 percent off and we're going to throw you an extra 10 percent off with promo code chat when you go to establishedtitles.com slash chat that is establishedtitles.com slash chat promo code chat uh to get you an extra 10 percent off We'll answer a few more questions here. Joe Klein, uh, will the Chiefs re-sign Juju? I'd like to bring him back. Uh, you know, hopefully this concussion thing isn't something that lingers, but he was playing at a really good level, kind of a tier two number one receiver. Like, I've explained this a couple times. Like, I think there's different levels of w number one receivers. Like, you know, there's the Tyree Kills, the DeAndre Hopkins, the – you know, insert elite, you know, Jamar Chase, the top end number one receivers, Justin Jefferson, Stephon Diggs. And then there's guys like, you know, Juju, the way he's playing this year. Like, he's a number one for some teams. The Chiefs this year he would be. Now, Kelsey's the number one, but at receiver, Juju was playing like that. You know, 1,100-yard type of season uh, is what he's been on pace for before the injury. So, yeah, I'd like to bring him back. I think he's been playing well. I don't know what his market will look like. I mean, is he going to get $20 million per year? If he does, maybe that's a little too expensive. But uh, I've been a fan of what he's uh, done in this offense. Kenny Smith, do you think Pacheco has taken Clyde's spot as number one running back and will start the remaining games? Absolutely. Uh, now, Clyde has a high ankle sprain now. We'll see how much time he misses. But uh, even before then, Pacheco had been given the starting role. And I do think he'll be the starter the rest of the year. Uh, Jarrett McKinnon will have a significant role in this football team. But Pacheco is uh, the lead back right now. There's no doubt. Tassie Perkins, my first question ever on YouTube. Shout out Tassie. Type Tassie in the comments. Is Kansas City's tendency to give up big plays in the secondary, it's Achilles Hill. Give up a few to the Chargers. I mean, yeah, you know, you're, you're playing young corners. You know, I think the safety play has been a little inconsistent. Um, Justin Reed's been okay. He hasn't been great. I don't think he's lived up to that contract yet. Uh, so I do think that's a spot where, you know, you hope to play a little bit better. Um, but uh, I wouldn't call it an Achilles Hill. Like, I don't think it's some massive problem week in and week out. But – go up against some big time receivers this this secondary is prone to give up some big plays Kevin Gonzalez talk about Kelsey having an insane season I mean what's there to say right the guy has 11 touchdowns in 10 games I mean let me just pull up the raw stats real quick as I do this right Travis Kelsey in 10 games this year he's got 69 catches very nice 855 yards and 11 touchdowns so that's through 10 games Obviously, you know, seven or more to go. He's basically on pace. Quick math here. I'm going to kind of spitball this for like 115 catches, uh, 1,400 yards, and 17 touchdowns. That is an insane season for a tight end. And by the way, it would be his, what, uh, I think 7,000-yard season in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, number seven. Uh, only other tight ends uh, have done three seasons in a row with 1,000 or more. This is about to be seven. He's unbelievable. I think he's the best receiving tight end of all time. He's in the conversation for the greatest tight end of all time. Uh, he's running away from defensive backs at 33 years old. He is insane after the catch. It's unreal, man. Uh, don't take it for granted because what this guy is doing, has we've never seen it before. Never miss a video here on the Chiefs Report. All you got to do, subscribe, turn on notifications. You click that bell and select all Boom, you'll be good to go here on the Chiefs Report. So hit that sub button and uh, join the movement here at the Kansas City Chiefs Report. Anthony Madrano, do you think the Chiefs are better than they were last year? 
I think they've been more consistent this year. I mean, last year they started three and four and were, you know, kind of shooting themselves in the foot. Obviously finished strong, finished 12 and five, two seed, and should have gone to the Super Bowl, had the, uh, had the Bengals beat, obviously. But I do think they're playing with a little bit more of an edge this year than they did last year. Obviously they don't have Tyreek Hill this year, but they have a more volume of weapons. I think the running game could be better, even though it's been very up and down. I think Pacheco gives you a chance to be better there. I do think the defense is better, and that's that's a big deal. It's not a great defense, but it's better than it was last year, and I think that's very, very important. Mike Tilson, how about the Chiefs-Eagles Super Bowl? That'd be fun. That would be fun, and I think the Chiefs would win that Super Bowl. <laughs> um, uh, I, I'm not saying the Eagles are frauds. I think they're a really good team, but I think Jalen Hurts and Patrick Mahomes – Two weeks of prep, Super Bowl. I mean, I'll I'll take the Chiefs. Um, I I think the Chiefs would win that game by seven to twelve points, uh, if I'm being completely honest. All right, Thanksgiving is here. Depending on when you're watching this, it may have already come and passed. But what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? You know, it can be a main dish, it can be a side dessert. Uh, get a little bit of everything uh, here. Rolly, do you have a favorite Thanksgiving uh, dish? We got producer Nick producing this thing. I personally just like the turkey. You're just a turkey guy? I'm just guy. a basic guy. Fried, smoked, or just any, any way? I believe it. Baked? Baked is the way You're my family does baked it. Baked turkey guy? Okay. Um, I like turkey. I do think it's a bit overrated, but for Thanksgiving, it's always good. I'm a big sides guy. Like I love the mashed potatoes, the mac and cheese, all that stuff. Let me know what your favorite Thanksgiving food is. Nick Yates, give Willie and Bolton long-term extensions and trade up to get Tennessee receiver Jalen Hyatt. Jalen Hyatt would be lit in this offense. Jalen Hyatt is having a Jamar Chase caliber season at Tennessee. Now, I don't think he's quite the prospect Chase was, but he's incredible. He's got, what, like 15 or 16 touchdowns or whatever it is. He's having a crazy year. Um, it was a bummer to see Tennessee quarterback Hendon Hooker tear his ACL, but Hyatt's been a great weapon there, and uh, Tennessee's been a fun team to watch. Dale Webb Jr. gets the final word here. Excuse me. If the Chiefs don't sign OBJ, what are the chances they can trade him for DeAndre Hopkins for the Cardinals? What are the chances they could trade for Hopkins? Um, I mean, I don't know why the Cardinals would trade Hop. I mean, it would cost you. This isn't Bill O'Brien doing trade negotiations, so it's going to cost you at least a first, probably a first and a third, first and a second. Um, <laughs> he'd be incredible here, but that, that seems unlikely. I, I don't think that they're going to be – they're going to trade Hopkins, the Cardinals, uh, that being said. So, all right, uh, thanks for all the questions today, guys. You guys killed it. Uh, at HGram NFL, Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me over there. Uh, ask me Chiefs, NFL, non-sports-related questions. Uh, I'm always uh, catching up on my DMs every few days. So hit me up over there if you have any more questions about the Chiefs or anything else. I will uh, try to get back to you, and uh, we'll see you next time here on the Chiefs Report.